Oh, hello, and welcome to Better Than Common Garage. I'm your host, I think, for the most part. No, that was stupid. Welcome back, everybody. It's been a while. Welcome to uh, Better Than Common Garage. My name is Jesse. Today, what I'm going to do is uh, show you something I do for a little bit extra spending money. And I do a fair amount of vehicles. I, it, what I do is I undercoat them. And the uh, subject today is a Chevy Silverado. Actually, it's for the vintage of it. It is in very good shape uh, For this area you can see a little bit of bubblage there and the frame Actually doesn't look terrible. It's got you can see where like the factory stuff was sort of peeling off here a little bit maybe but I do a fair number of these Chevy trucks <clears throat> um, but This thing is just it is ripe for the picking. It, this is exactly when you should get them. Right before they start to go, because, man, I tell you, winter's around here. Another two, three winters without undercoating. Or another, maybe another winter if you drove it much. It would, it would really start to go. They Right above the wheel well there, they just sort of delete themselves right into the dust. But this is in really good shape, and uh, hopefully this will make it last a little longer. The stuff I use is from a local company called, uh, here's an empty jug, called Protection First Class, or PFC, made by Berkebile. That's a local company just up the road from me. Uh, you can get this stuff in aerosol cans. Uh, there it is in the aerosol can gallon jugs aerosol cans five gallon buckets 55 gallon drums I use the five gallon buckets mainly and I use the black. It's either in black or in natural which is sort of like a I don't know Like a tannish color. I don't really care for it much. I like the black because it's sort of Everybody likes a black undercarriage at least I do and uh, This stuff doesn't really dry out like a lot of other uh, lanolin based products, you know, lanolin, the stuff where you take sheep and you squeeze them. And then there's an oil that they secrete when you do that. I don't know. I have no idea, but apparently it's, that's how they make it. They squeeze sheep. Uh, anywho, like this stuff is very similar to fluid film. If anybody has any experience with that. Fluid film will sort of dry up and get like a crust on it over time. PFC does not. Um, I've, I've been doing this for several years now and I've retouched up other vehicles and they physically had it removed from like driving through tall grass and whatnot. And the stuff that didn't, sorry, that was my, uh, battle hardened rooster over here he's very mouthy can you see him rick ricky the rooster he's very mouthy like i was saying it doesn't dry up but it does stays hard or it doesn't uh wipe off very easily it doesn't wash off it's good stuff i love it and uh we're gonna go do this truck Okay, so what we have here is a thoroughly clean truck. Got a little bit 
I mean, this is prime undercoating weather here. The cab corners. I mean, this thing is whew, super clean. You can see where the, the factory stuff is sort of flaking off. <clears throat> the seams there on the floor, they're sort of, you know, not really bubbling, but they're showing age, you know, and the guy, you know, I don't blame him, he wants to try to keep her as long as possible. That's the name of the game. These things ain't getting cheap, <clears throat> even if it is a Chevy. Just picking. I like it. This is a good looking truck. This thing here, she ought to shine up nicely. So let's see what we can do. I'll probably just do time lapse and then bring you back in to show you all the goop that I put on it. <clears throat> It's just about to hit my light up there. And if you look, I put on the windshield, I cover up because the overspray of this stuff can sort of get on there. And if you put your, turn your wipers on with this stuff on the windshield, it gets a little smeary. It can be about a half dangerous. Let's get the gooping. Okay, so in case you missed in that time lapse, this thing is sufficiently greasy. Let's see if I can't get and show you. So that's the main portion there. Over here, it's kind of hard to see with my little baby flashlight. It's half dead, but I got. I mean, it's about I don't know three gallon in all the floorboards are done everywhere I could reach on the frame is done <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do is uh, I will take and wipe off the exhaust because I don't like it smoking that much and if you get this stuff on there it does stink you can sort of see it there a little bit but I'll wipe that down good with some brake clean and a towel and then uh, after that, I'll finish it up. I got a few more spots I want to hit. A couple spots that I'm seeing right now that I'm going to go back up and touch up. That's about it. I just cleaned off my face. It was black and covered in this stuff. But we'll finish this job up and do, uh, I'll let it down. And then I do uh, some more once it's down on the ground. So I'll keep you guys on.
All right. So what we do now is I'll let her sit and run for 10, 15 minutes, make sure everything's good. And that'll allow the exhaust to burn off for the most part, the worst of it at least. And then I'll get the doors, the bottom of the doors yet. The tailgate, the bottom of the tailgate and the uh, hood. I'll do the under, some of the underside of the hood there just in some spots where you tend to see some corrosion. And then this thing is done. So I don't think I'll bore you guys with that, but I think that'll be it for this episode. Don't mind the, the blackness on my beard. It's like just for men for rednecks. Yeah, rednecks. Uh, this, uh, Probably, let me show you, let me show you this stuff up close. I don't know if you can see it. Let's get you, quick. see it? It's kind of like, I call it like a grease. The grease is sort of a misnomer, but it's gooey and ooey and black and smells like, I don't know. I've never smelled anything that smelled like it, but I put this on a bunch of vehicles and uh, it seems to work out pretty well. And I have a hummingbird stuck in my light. Uh, that thing's an idiot. Let me turn the lights off. <laughs> Never a dull moment. There we go. Now it's thinking, uh-oh, what do I do? You see it? She's perched on my cable. Right there, you can't really see her. <whistles> Not the first time I've had them in here. They get confused. All right, well, it looks like I gotta fight a hummingbird now. Oh, wait, nope, there it is. Come on, shoot, outside, outside. Come on, come on, outside, out the doors. Big doors, they're, they're big doors. Jump. Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, get. Maybe I'll use you guys here. I have you on the tripod. Here, go get her. Come on, come on. Come on, there it goes. Oh, there it went. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, okay. I'm gonna shut up now. Okay. That's all I got. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please subscribe. That does help. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully it won't be so long, but I'm rather boring. I don't do many things very often. And uh, this is just what I got going on. So we'll see you.